Hello, this is Paolo and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use automatic presets to streamline our workflow with Reality 4. Now I'm going to use briefly Dell Studio but this video is valid for Poser users as well because we are going to work most of the time inside Reality 4 and the interface for Reality 4 Poser Edition and Reality 4 Studio Edition is exactly the same. I'm going to start using these, this pair of jeans. I'm going to add them to the scene. And so here we have a model inside the scene. If I call Reality and we look at the pens, we see that there are two materials and they're both glossy, which is the default. Glossy is a, just a default material that provides some level of shine. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be shiny. So uh, in any case, um, we're looking at these two materials and you know the metal now uh, material here, if I hold the option key on the Macintosh or the Alt key on Windows and I click on the material, then when I look inside Studio, now I see that the material is being selected. So the metal material is actually the zipper and the rest is just the cloth. So that zipper, I definitely want to turn into metal. And so I right click on it and select to metal. I can keep the aluminum preset, works perfectly fine for a zipper. And I'm going to increase the shine a little bit, just a little bit. OK, that's good. The pants, I'm going to convert them to the new cloth material. So right click on the material, select to cloth, and we are there. It's already selecting the denim preset. So this is all good. Fine. So at this point, we have done this operation once. And if we save these two materials as an automatic preset, we will not have to repeat these operations the next time we use this model. So we can just click on these two materials, right click and select save as automatic preset. And here we have this handy little window. We give a name for the preset. So I'll call it crazy night pants because crazy nights is the name for this product. And I don't have to say much more in the description, so I'll just use the same exact text. And then I just click on OK. That's all there is. Here we see in the column that the preset has been applied, has been saved. So um, I can just go back to Studio. If this was Poser, it would be exactly the same. So I'll just... Uh, create a new scene. Okay, so we start from scratch. Now I bring the pants back into the scene. All right. I click on reality. And here they are. And they've been converted to cloth and to metal. Very simple, you do it once, and then you save it. And so you don't have to repeat this operation anymore. And every time they come exactly as we need it. So we see that the polish has been set at 9400 as we specified. So let's try again. Let's continue. Let's, uh, let's see how we can use this even more and see other facets of this great feature. So I'll add also the jacket, which has a lot more materials. All right. So let's switch back to reality and see what we can do for this. The jacket has a lot of stuff. So uh, sometimes I might not be clear what these materials are. And so what I can do here is yeah, you know, I get closer to the product. And uh, all right, so there are some names that we can pretty much imagine what they do. The metal is going to be the same thing, the zipper. So I right click on it, metal, aluminum. I'll do the same thing. Let's be consistent. OK. Ring, ribbon, pocket, pocket, I 
pretty much know what it means. See, jacket outer and jacket inner, I know what these guys are. These are just, you know, the cloth. So I'm going to select them together. The same thing is for the collar. Same thing is for the cuff. So I have all these selected and I'm right clicking on them and select to cloth. Same thing, we have the denim already selected. That's perfect. We don't need to do much more. So I'll click on the type here to group all the materials together by type. So now all the cloth materials are together so I know I don't have to work on them anymore. Now bullet, eyelet, heart, these are a little more enigmatic but you know if I alt click on bullet and then I switch to studio. Okay so these are basically these little elements attached to the chain. Okay so you know, I think those are going to be like jewels, so I'm going to convert them to glass. And I just use the architectural glass. We don't need to do to spend more time in uh, uh, computing real volumetric glass because these are very small little accents. Um, so let's see what else. Oh, ring, ring. I bet this is metal. Now, if I click on ring, okay, these are the rings of the chain that are connecting the chain to the pocket and if I alt click on ribbon yeah I see the same thing here okay so ring and ribbon are basically the same kind of material um, I'm gonna just use a universal preset just to keep my workflow going faster and faster possible so right click on it and I'll apply a universal preset because I know that in the universal presets I have something called the medium bronze. So these are all presets that we can apply to any materials. And here we have metal, um, here we have fabric, here we have uh, gemstones, you know, we have crystal, diamond, emerald. But in this case, I just want metal. So I'm going to use the medium bronze, nice little preview here, and this will be applied to both materials that are selected. So there you go, done and done. Perfect. So the pocket, the pocket is also a cloth, so, but it's not denim. So what I'm going to do is to right click on it, select cloth, and then uh, um, select cotton twill. Okay. So at this point, I have a good amount of materials already set. So let's see. I'm going to uh, click on this. And by holding the command key on the Mac or a control key on Windows, I'm going to select just um, all the other materials that I have changed. OK, here we are. OK. And so what I'm going to do here is to right click, select as an automatic preset. And here I call it this crazy night jacket. Again, I'm going to copy and paste here because that's all there is for the description. And um, that's it. OK. Now, I left two out. Hmm. Was that a mistake? Of course, it wasn't. Reality is flexible enough to uh, understand that you can do these things uh, piecemeal, one material after the other, as you discover the materials and what they do in the uh, in the scene. So, but it's it's a good thing to save your uh, uh, state whenever you can, because if the cat walks over your keyboard or you know a, a, a blackout happens, uh, you would be losing some data. And this way, everything is being recorded in the reality database, so we are good at this point. Uh, I can try to discover what these materials do. So again, I'm going to alt click on the heart material and uh, see, OK, it's this little pendant here. This looks again as, um, as a jewel, as a, as a piece of, uh, of a crystal maybe. So, um, but yeah, it's small enough that we can just use the architectural glass. So I'm going to convert this again to glass architectural the color is here the preview has been updated looks pretty good to me 
um, if I was inclined to do some, something fancy, I could change, you know, the index or refraction, for example, um, select the one of crystal. That's fine. We can do that. But it's not really necessary. It's such a small thing, but it can be done in other situations. Eyelet. Let's see what eyelet is. Eyelet is something there. Okay. Okay, so this is basically a piece of metal in the eyelet where the, the chain connects. Okay, makes sense. So um, I'm going to turn that into metal. And I'll use aluminum and I'll use uh, 9200 in this case. Okay, so now we have these two materials that we have updated after saving the preset. So I'm going to select them both. Right click. Save as automatic preset. And as I do this, you will see the reality will present something different. Because he already knows that you have a preset for this model. So it already loads the information. There's nothing else to do here. The name has been grayed out to say, hey, I know what this is. Cannot be changed. You can change the description. You can you know, write whatever you want here. But then I can just need to press OK. It's that simple. Done. So now we have created another preset for the jacket in two steps. It can be three steps. It can be anything. Let's see how this works the next time we bring, you know, this outfit in our scene. So I will file new, create a new scene. And I'll bring the pants in, and I'll bring the jacket in. There you go. Then we go to reality. And there you go. All our presets have been loaded. All the metals, all the glass materials, everything is there. Pants, same thing. So this is how the automatic presets streamline your workflow with Reality 4. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.